In this video, we're going to go over two example problems that has to do with the iron blood test. The first one will involve some calculations. The second problem has to do with identifying if a patient has a case of iron deficiency anemia or a case of iron overload. So let's begin with this problem. Number one, a patient's blood test showed a TIBC level, that is the total iron binding capacity of 420 micrograms per deciliter and a serum iron level of 90 micrograms per deciliter. Part A. Calculate the level of UIBC in this patient's blood sample. The UIBC represents the unsaturated iron binding capacity. To calculate the UIBC level, it's simply the difference between the total iron binding capacity and the amount of iron that's in the blood, the serum iron level. So the TIBC value is 420 micrograms per deciliter minus 90 micrograms per deciliter. And so that is going to be 330 micrograms per deciliter. So that's how we can calculate the UIBC level. It's simply the difference between the TIBC level and the serum iron level. Now let's move on to part B. Calculate the percent iron saturation. The percent iron saturation is equal to the iron serum level divided by the TIBC level times 100%. So the iron serum level is 90. The TIBC level is 420. Let's multiply that by 100. So this is going to be 21.4%. So that is the iron saturation level. That's how you can calculate it. So what does this number mean? What does it tell us? The percent iron saturation tells us the amount of iron that's actually attached to iron binding proteins in the blood. The main iron binding protein is a protein called transferrin. So let's say if we have 100 iron binding proteins, about 21 of them will actually be attached to iron. The other 79 won't be attached to iron. And so in this example, the other 78.6% is associated with the UIBC level, the unsaturated iron binding capacity. Because if you take 330 divided by 420 and multiply that by 100, you'll get 78.6%. Number two, the results of an iron blood test for three patients are shown below. Part A. Which patient has a case of iron deficiency anemia? So go ahead and take a minute and uh, review the table to see uh, which patient has that. Feel free to pause the video if you want to. So let's analyze each patient, starting with patient one. Patient, so patient one's uh, TIBC level is 342, so that's within range. So I'm going to write N for normal. His UIBC level, 245, is also in range. His iron levels are good. And percent iron saturation is also normal. His ferritin levels, this is an intracellular iron storage protein. Uh, that's also normal. Now, patient 2, notice that his TIBC levels is above 450. So we're going to put H for high. His UIBC levels are also high. Now his serum iron levels are low. It's below 40. So let's put L for low. And his iron saturation levels are also low. His ferritin levels are low too. Now for patient 3, the TIBC levels are normal. And the same is true for the UIBC level. 
Now the serum iron level is high, it's above 170. And the percent iron saturation is also high. But the ferritin levels are normal. So looking at this, which patient has a case of iron deficiency? We can see that patient too, his serum iron levels and iron saturation are low. So patient two has a case of iron deficiency anemia. Another feature of iron deficiency anemia is high TIBC levels. Now, when your serum iron levels are low, your body tries to make more transferrin to bind to whatever available iron is out there. And so iron deficiency anemia is always characterized by a high TIBC level and low iron levels. Now what about B? Which patient has a case of iron overload? Well, we can clearly see that patient three has a case of iron overload. The serum iron levels and the iron saturation are very high, even though the TIBC levels are normal. Now this patient, patient one, is what you would say a normal patient. His TIBC levels are normal, his iron levels are within range, and everything is good. His ferritin levels, iron saturation is well within range. So now you know how to tell if a person has a case of iron deficiency anemia or iron overload, also known as iron poisoning, by reading uh, their, the results of their iron blood tests. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.